Uh, welcome to the Sydney C. Huntington School. We're ready to begin this signing ceremony. I'm the MC. I've been asked to fill in for John Corda, who's uh, on forced labor in Siberia. <laughs> I've known Caleb since he was a wee boy. Uh, Caleb, come on up. Caleb Corda. Um, Caleb, we're here um, because you're a very good runner. <laughs> and um, you could beat every single person in this room yes. Yes. and many others that aren't in this room. And um, I guess we'll get, if you couldn't tell by the logo that's behind us here, uh, many people know that you had a choice of colleges and universities to go to to further your running career. Uh, you had offers uh, so far from two. How many? Three. Three. They're coming more every day. Uh, but you've made your choice, and why don't you just announce for everybody here uh, where have you decided to go to college? Uh, University of Alaska Anchorage. A quick reason why, of all the choices, uh, you saw schools all through the, the little western part of the lower 48. Uh, why have you chosen to stay in state at UAA? Um, probably one of the main reasons was uh, I still wanted to be uh, like in, uh, I still wanted to see you guys a lot, and uh, the coach in uh, in Alamosa in Colorado, he wanted me. If he wanted me to be good, he thought it'd be a good idea for me to stay there. Um, through the summer and work there because of the altitude and uh, I kind of didn't want to, I wasn't ready to leave here for four or five years and uh, you guys are awesome and I love you. Aww. So pretty soon we'll actually be signing papers uh, and that'll make it official when you, you'll be committing to the University of Alaska Anchorage. Uh, we have words from John Corda uh, that were sent. He couldn't be with us tonight because of, he's representing Galena on this Russian goodwill mission that will bring world peace and understanding <laughs> to all of us. So it's worth it, I guess, for him to be gone from this momentous situation. But uh, Tanya, would you like to do that now? Sure. sure. All right, so I guess I'm channeling John Corda through an email. Um, um, Caleb knows that we're proud of him. And, uh, so he, John says, as Caleb's father and coach, I'd like to say a few words about his running career as we gather this evening to honor his accomplishment of being awarded a, co a college athletic scholarship at UAA. As most of you know, Caleb took to running at a young age, competing against and often beating adults in local community races while he was still in elementary school. He is a naturally gifted athlete but he has not become a successful runner simply by relying on his natural ability. Caleb recognized his gift at an early age and made the choice to develop that gift even further to see how far it could take him. He has devoted many long hours of training and made countless personal sacrifices in his quest to see far, how far he could go. He has come a long way and achieved much, but this is just one step in what we all hope is a long journey for him. In his high school career, Caleb has made many notable accomplishments, winning a total of five individual state championships. And although he competes in the small school division, he has proven that he is amongst the top runners in the entire state. He has proven that with some hard work and determination, anything is possible, no matter where you're from or what kind of adversity you may face. He has been an inspiration to many, including other runners from small communities, setting a high bar for others to follow. He has made his community proud, and they have supported him in every way. As Caleb continues the next stage of his career, we will continue to cheer and support him, and are glad that he has chosen to remain here in Alaska. Congratulations, Caleb, on all of your achievements. You've only just begun. So I want to tell this one small story about Caleb. Um, when Caleb is <laughs> was in um, ninth grade and he, he did well at the state meet. I think you placed fifth place in ninth grade. And I was talking to him um, one night and I said, what, what do you want to do? What, what's your goals? Um, 
what do you want to do with this? And he said, I want to be state champion. And I said, okay, okay, so what, what are you willing to do to, to, uh, to make that goal? And he said, anything dad tells me to do. <laughs> Is that a true story? Yeah, that's a true story. Now that's, a co that's every coach's dream, right? But what it said to me was that um, Caleb knew that he set a goal and that he was willing to do whatever he needed to do to accomplish that. And that has meant, um, you know, training long hours by himself. Um, it's meant adding an extra season to his uh, year with adding a track season. Um, it's meant more travel for us and fun and joy for us. And, and we've really enjoyed it. So um, thank you for sharing our gifts, your gifts with us. And um, I know you'll continue to make us proud. And thank you to the community of Galena because you guys have been great supporters too. Thank you.